Welcome to Baxter Bell Yoga. I'm Baxter Bell, and two quick things before we jump into our practice today. First, if you're watching this on YouTube and you find the video valuable, please like it. Secondly, if you want to learn more about my yoga teaching, whether that's yoga classes online or in person, uh, yoga privates or yoga therapy privates, or upcoming workshops and retreats, there's one easy place to find all that information. That's my website, baxterbell.com. So without further ado, let's jump right into our practice. All right, today we're gonna to advance uh, a posture I taught you recently called half moon pose. We did a variation with the hand on the chair. This is a great kind of introductory level to work at. And if you still feel a little bit wobbly even on the chair, feel free to have a wall close by or a wall where your lifted foot is so you can press into things to make it even more stable. But today we're going to, as I said, advance that a little bit and we're going to do what I call the dynamic version of half moon or dynamic half, uh, half moon pose. And uh, we're going to use the chair again today just to kind of work at that introductory level. And then as I mentioned earlier, I'll be sharing with you some other videos in the near future where we start working a little bit lower, making the challenge a little greater for especially the flexibility in the hips and really our balance and our agility. So this takes it from a stable balance pose into an agile adjusting movement back and forth. So again, let's stand in the center of the mat and step the left foot out toward the left edge of the mat, turning the right foot out. Again, if I were to draw a line forward, that line would just be a couple inches in front of the front edge of the chair. The back heel kicks back just like it would in a pose like Warrior II. And then I'm going to show you this dynamically a couple times, kind of slower, and then we'll maybe try to find a pace that feels good. So I'm going to go ahead and put my left hand on my hip so I don't have to worry about where that arm is in space, and I can focus on my transition a little bit more. So as you inhale, we're going to bend the knee, float the arm up, and then as we exhale, we're going to shift onto that front foot by lifting the back heel up, reaching out, placing the hand on the chair. This is all on my exhale. And then as I inhale, I'm going to bend my knee, step back lightly into the footprint that I was in before, straightening the front leg, and then exhale the arms down. Let's try that again. So we're going to inhale, bend the knee, float the arms up, begin to shift forward, placing the right hand on the chair seat. Notice I'm looking down, not up. And then inhale, bend the knee, step lightly back, come all the way up and out, and exhale the arms down. Let's go ahead and do that one more time together. Inhale. We have the pets joining us to make it more exciting for me so that I don't fall on a pet. Inhale, bend the knee, reach the arms out. Exhale, shift out, come up. Again, you could look forward. Inhale, bend the knee and reach back, straightening the leg and bring the arms down. And we're gonna do that three more times. You'll notice I'm not over lifting the back leg. So the le back leg doesn't come parallel with the floor because I'm up higher on the chair. When we get lower onto blocks or the floor, we'll end up having that leg a little higher. So let's try that a couple more times. Inhale. Now the warrior two legs, exhale, reaching out, planting and lifting, straightening that bottom leg. Inhale, bend the knee, lightly step back, floating up, and then exhale the arms down. Try that twice on your own. I'm going to move along with you. Try to follow your breath. Let the breath be your guide. Try to really fix that front foot so it points straight forward. Watch out for it turning in, especially. Excellent. Now we're going to pause, turn the feet even, and step the feet together. Take a moment with both feet on the ground to kind of notice if that was fairly easy and stable all the way through, in and out, or if that was a little shaky or wobbly here or there, right? So just kind of assess that first side. The second side might be completely different. So we'll see how that works. Let's move our chair again intelligently downstream. Front legs of the chair on the mat. Standing in the middle, step your right foot out to the right. Turn your Left foot out, kick your right heel back. Let's go ahead and place the hand on the hip just so we're not so concerned about what that's up to and we're really focusing on that good transition with the legs and arms. So on our in-breath, we're gonna bend the knee, arm floats up, and then as we exhale, we shift out, placing the left hand, straightening the left leg, lifting the right leg up. And then as you inhale, bend the front knee, step not just back, but back and down as you come up, straightening the front leg, and then exhale your arm down. Let's do that again. Inhale, warrior two shape. Exhale, reaching out, pressing into the hand and the leg firmly. Inhale, bend the knee, step back, float up, front leg straightens. Exhale down. Let's do that together one more time. In breath and the out breath. Remember that top leg, the foot points forward. There's a 45 degree angle with the pelvis in space. And then inhale, stepping back and exhale down. Three more of those, just like that. You know the pattern now. Let's get into it. So 
Exhaling into the pose, half moon to the chair, inhaling out, and exhale the arm down. Last two completely on your own. I'll practice along with you. I'm looking down for better balance. As it gets easier, you might challenge yourself by looking forward. Whew, that is challenging. <laughs> and then stepping back. It's interesting how quickly you get used to one variation. One more time. And then stepping back lightly. Good. And then as you finish, turn your feet in and step your feet together. So there you have it, the dynamic version of Half Moon to a chair. Try that out in your practice this week. See what you think about that. And remember, even better than these short videos is joining me for a full live streaming yoga class. You can find my full schedule on my website, which is on your screen right now. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and YouTube at Baxter Bell Yoga. And if you're on YouTube and you like the video, please actually like it. All right, thanks for joining me today. Have a great week. Namaste.